what's happening guys clickwood here back again bringing you guys another madden 15 ultimate team video and today guys what i want to do is give you the final lineup update that i'm going to do on my channel for madden 15 ultimate team obviously we've got the new game coming out uh in a few weeks now so it's pretty exciting i'm, I'm very excited for madden 16 and, and obviously for madden 16 ultimate team but I want to show you guys what I have going into the final month here. So let's go over here and take a look. I have made some upgrades on my my team. So you are going to see some new stuff. Let's go in here and take a look at the lineup so you guys can see. Obviously, I had well, close to 2 million coins before, like 1.8 or so, something like that. Um, so here we go with the offense. Obviously, not really anything different here. The most recent upgrade that I made was uh, having Vincent Jackson at tight end. That's really not like a huge substantial price tag or anything like that. Um, you know, so we're we're using Vincent Jackson at tight end. I know a lot of people are wondering why he's huge, he's fast, and he has as good of blocking as most of the tight ends in this game. He's an absolute freaking beast at tight end. Absolutely love that card. Still rolling with uh, Calvin Johnson and Julio Jones, the positional card at wide receiver with Calvin Benjamin in the slot. I know not that spectacular or anything. I might still consider upgrading this at some point. But I'm, I don't know, man, I, I've got 616,000 coins, but really what I want to do here is uh, give you guys the opportunity to play for these cards in a pink slips game. So eventually, pretty much all of these cards will be given away somehow, whether it be on Twitter. So make sure you guys go over to my Twitter account. I will definitely be giving away a couple of things on there for sure. I don't know exactly what yet, but definitely some stuff will be given away on Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash ClickWood TV or at ClickWood TV. You guys can find me on there. Give me a follow and uh, I should, I'll probably be tweeting something out. You know, it'll be probably like a follow and retweet type of a thing. And uh, we'll pick somebody uh, that does that to actually win the cards. But um, we'll do something like that. And then we're also going to play Pink Slips again. Uh, I'm planning on playing Pink Slips this Thursday. So um, tomorrow. I guess, or not tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, excuse me, um, is when we will be doing the Pink Slips videos, so um, be on the lookout for that, I'll, I'll be definitely doing at least one or two tomorrow, and then I will probably also be doing some later this weekend or on Monday, so it might be Saturday, it might be Sunday, it might be Monday at the very latest, I would say, but we're definitely going to give away some cards through that, also on the stream live on the, uh, on the actual Twitch stream, Twitch.tv forward slash ClickwoodTV if you guys are interested in playing Pink Slips or being eligible for just plain old giveaways right there on the uh, on the Twitch stream. Make sure that you guys give that a follow as well. Uh, then I, I obviously here, let's go over to the defense. Um, you know, I've, I've made some upgrades here. Uh, you can probably see the major upgrades that we've made here to this defense. We got some beastly cards that we added, guys. But um, I, I want to quick mention that I am also going to be giving away a couple of cards here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to figure out a way to do that as well, but I, obviously this is the main thing that I do to communicate with you guys. Twitter and Twitch and all that other stuff is kind of a side project, I guess you could say. It's not the main source of how I want to communicate with you guys. So YouTube, I definitely want to give back to you guys. Uh, thank you all, obviously, so much for all the support throughout the year. And uh, we'll definitely be giving you guys something somehow. Um, we'll figure that out, though, over the next couple of days. So be on the lookout for that update as well. Um, so here is the lineup update, guys. We obviously, we're still rolling with the 4th of July Ronnie Lott here at Strong Safety. And you guys should let me know as well, if you could. What do you guys think about me playing him at Strong Safety and the uh, the standard Ultimate Legend Ronnie Lott? At, or excuse me. This, this Ronnie Lott, 4th of July at free safety, and the other Ronnie Lott, the ultimate legend at strong safety. That's kind of where I like them, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think I should swap them? I, I, that's just my personal opinion. I like him over here because then typically um, he's going to do a better job against the uh, the face catching. If I ever run like a, a cover four or something like that, he's typically going to get over there a little bit better than the other Ronnie Lott. That's not quite as good. Uh, so let me know what you guys think on that. Now, uh, at outside linebacker, we're still rolling with Jack Ham and uh, Derek Brooks. Now, I have been running a 3-4 linebacker uh, set with uh, with the defensive line. So I've been running a 3-4 defense, guys. So what I decided to do here was go with Jack Ham as the uh, right outside linebacker. I've had him since pretty much right when he came out. And then uh, Derek Brooks is the big upgrade that we made here. 
I'm I am just a huge fan of any Derek Brooks card. You guys remember last year I had Derek Brooks and just he's one of my favorite players. He always is because he has such great zone coverage every time. I mean, just look at these attributes, guys. If you compare him to Demarcus Ware, who was my other left outside linebacker, and I still have him on the roster, just take a look at some of these attributes for coverage. He's got amazing catching. He has 90 catching versus 63 catching from Demarcus Ware. He can get some serious interceptions. Um, obviously, he's got great tackling as well. He's not going to be as good of a pass rusher, but he's still actually not that bad. He has 88 for a, a finesse move and uh, 76 for a power move, which is kind of trash, but 95 block shedding. That's not too bad. I'm very, very happy with that. 100 pursuit, 99 play rack. He's going to do a, a great job overall in that area. Then in coverage, man, 88 for man and 97 for zone. It just doesn't get much better than that. With great catching and traffic and spec catch attributes. Great hit power, too, as well. He's still got 99 hit power. And, and if you were to be in a situation where you ever are pressing with him against a tight end or something like that, he has a great press attribute, too. So this is definitely one of my favorite cards, one of the cards that I was looking forward to adding to my team. And uh, you guys will see him in an upcoming game here very soon on the channel. Um, I wrapped up a head-to-head -head season recently, so you guys will be able to see him at least in one game. Um but anyway, so we added him. We also added Patrick Willis as our second middle linebacker. Again, I'm running a 3-4, so he's out there pretty much every play. And then we've still got the 97 Luke Keekley for depth. And we're and like I said, we're still keeping DeMarcus Ware as well for depth. So all of these cards on my defense and my offense will eventually be given away, guys. I'm not keeping anything. Um, I'm not selling anything. It's all going to be going to you guys for all the support that you gave me throughout the year and just everything that you guys do to make this channel so awesome that you guys leave those comments below. Um, you guys like the videos, you share them, you subscribe to the channel. It means so, so much to me. It really, really does. So I want to give back to you guys somehow. Um, but again, Patrick Willis, another beastly card. Great attributes pretty much across the board, as you would imagine, from Patrick Willis. Great speed, great tackling. He's even got good zone coverage. Again, he's not quite as good as Derek Johnson, in my opinion, uh, for the middle linebacker in a 3-4. That's why he plays the second middle linebacker position. But he's still really, really, really good, and uh, I'm a big fan of this card. So he's definitely going to be a big, big playmaker for me, I think. He's going to be definitely better than Luke Keekley. If you compare him to the Luke Keekley, actually, um, you'll see he's he's pretty much better in everything other than play rec. And I can definitely deal with that, especially if I'm usering Patrick Willis. I can do a pretty good job of uh, you know making the play recognition uh, not matter. So, I, I, again, I'm a big fan of this card, and he's definitely going to be a big upgrade for me, I think. Then uh, on the defensive line, we did add Julius Peppers. So I usually was running Bruce Smith ever since pretty close to when he first came out. I went with the Bruce Smith, but I recently upgraded to this Julius Peppers. I'm a huge fan of this card. Uh, obviously, the attributes on this card are crazy. The speed and the acceleration combination, along with that insane finesse move. Uh, yeah, we're talking about a, just a ridiculous pass rusher. Julius Peppers, ultimate legend. Um, I, I wish that I could have afforded the um, the boss edition of this card, to the outside linebacker version. But you know what? I, I feel like this card is going to do just as good of a job at DN, to be completely honest with you. He's so fast and strong, uh, and just he really has pretty much everything you would look for in a defensive end in this game. So I'm a big, big fan of this. He can do a great job against the run and the pass, which is obviously what I'm looking for. Uh, I need somebody that can get pressure on the quarterback when I rush three. Because with the defense that I like to run, I like to try and force my, my opponents into making mistakes. And the best way for me to do that is to really rush three and drop a bunch of guys into coverage on occasion. And a lot of times people will throw interceptions when you do that. Bruce Smith was good, but if you look at the speed and acceleration, he was five acceleration slower and seven speed slower. So he wasn't getting after the quarterback anywhere near as quickly as Julius Peppers does. I mean, it's pretty much like an extra half second or so. If they had the exact same animation that triggered and everything, he would get to the quarterback quite a bit slower than Julius Peppers. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but in football terms, a half second to a second is a ton of time. And that's why I'm a big uh, supporter of this card. And I, I really think that it's going to be a big upgrade for the team as we're wrapping up the season here. Uh, we're still going with the uh, Vontae Davis at number one cornerback. Patrick Peterson has been downgraded to the number three cornerback as we make the upgrade here to the best cornerback in this game in my personal opinion, now obviously there's a boss edition, but um, you know the overall attributes on this card are just so ridiculous. Like <laughs> night train lane, guys. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, just look at all the attributes. Just he's so good at everything. 
He's like the Bo Jackson of defense, honestly. Uh, with just, it's insane. He's so good at everything. 83 strength. Very, very good for a cornerback. 99 speed, 100 acceleration, so I'm not really so worried about the lob streaks with him. Uh, the 95 catching, obviously, is one of the best attributes that you are going to find in this game on any defensive player. So uh, that's awesome. 92 awareness is still really, really good. And then you go down here to some of these other things. 94 tackling, he's going to do a great job in that. 97 jumping is still very, very good. Not to mention he's six foot one, so that's a big step up from some of these other cornerbacks, even Vontae Davis, who's only five foot eleven. Um, but uh, yeah, elusiveness. We're talking about when he gets the ball in his hands, he even has great attributes, man. It's crazy. Then uh, the thing that I was really, the, the big thing that I was looking for with this was an upgrade in zone coverage over my Patrick Peterson. I'll quick show you guys the comparison. 96 zone coverage for Pat Pete and 101 for Night Train Lane. Not to mention they have the same man coverage attribute and Night Train Lane is substantially better in play recognition as well. So, uh, you know, across the board, we're pretty much talking about one of the best cornerbacks that you can possibly put together in this game. I'm a huge fan of this card and I, I'm just excited for people to to try and throw the ball deep on him because look if night train lane can't stop the lob streaks i just don't know who possibly could <laughs> i mean really like you, we're talking about one of the absolute best cards in this game period so uh, man if, if he can't stop it i just don't know if anybody can in this game but uh, other than that we're still going with the kind of the same lineup we've had we st we've still got uh, mean joe green and aaron donald in the middle i did upgrade obviously to the jared allen at left end so we've got some decent pass rushers here we've got jared allen coming off one end with 102 acceleration and 89 speed and julius peppers coming off of the other end so uh just beastly stuff on the defense this is this is the best defense that i've had all year um, you know, again, I'm running a 3-4 defense, so Aaron Donald really doesn't see the field that often. But, you know, in those situations where I re might run like a nickel defense, like a standard nickel defense, he might be on the field as a defensive tackle. And a lot of times I'll actually put him into a QB spy against the more mobile quarterbacks because he's actually really, really fast. If you guys don't know that, he's got 88 speed as a defensive tackle. So that's pretty beastly. But uh, that is the lineup, guys. That's the defense. Um, real quickly show you the... Uh, the specialists again we haven't really made any you know substantial differences to this this is still kind of what we're going with oh i also want to show you i forgot um backup running back right now eddie lacy final edition we've got that i don't know if you guys have seen that you, some of you might have some of you might not have uh but yeah anyway so we've got some good running backs we've got great quarterback um amazing wide receivers that we've got the best offensive line that you can build in the game great tight end um, defense, pretty much one of the best defenses that you can put together other than having boss cards or golden tickets. So I'm a, I, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm really proud of this team at this point. I'm, I'm happy to have it sucks that we're almost ending Madden now, but, uh, I think it'll be fun for maybe another week or so that I'll have some of these cards. But again, I'm going to be giving stuff away guys for you live on stream on YouTube, on Twitter, everything like that. So guys, please be sure to continue to subscribe to the channel, like this video. If you guys want to see some great giveaways and, uh, let me know what you guys want me to do. If you guys have any ideas on how I could give away some of this stuff, don't just say, please give it to me in the comment section because that's not going to happen. Uh, that's not the way that we do the giveaways, guys. It's just it's not fair to anybody. So um, let me know if you have any ideas in the comment section below. Thank you guys all so much for all the support. I truly, truly do appreciate it. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I'll see you guys soon in the streams or on videos to give away some of these cards. Thanks again, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.